Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Timster. today I'm going to be going over how to change your mouse cursor in the Blender Game Engine. So in your game you might want to have a custom mouse cursor uh, that you can use, um, I don't know, to do whatever. So in this tutorial we'll be going over that. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new file in Blender, you can have any version, uh, it should all work. Uh, then what I'm going to do is set up my main scene here, so maybe this can be the floor, we can have a cool cube over here, and maybe an icosphere as well, and a monkey, alright, there we go, and let's go ahead and give it some color, so this one over here as well, and this one here, alright, so we have our different colored objects, now let's go over here and change it to Blender Game, GLSL, an animation frame rate of 60, and then texture view, and press P, there we go, that looks fine, so now this here is going to be my main scene, then I'm going to make another one, copy settings, and this one is going to be uh, my mouse scene. Then what I'm going to do in this scene is press Shift A, add ourselves a camera, Alt R, get rid of the rotation, move it up, Shift A, add ourselves a plane, S to scale, numpad 0 to go into the camera view, and uh, just scale the plane accordingly. If you have uh, multiple different camera sizes, you might need to make it uh, large enough to suit for all of them. So I guess just something like this should be fine. Then we're going to go over here and call it, uh, I don't know, yeah, just over plane or something because we have the mouse over it. Then what I'm going to do is press Shift A, add another plane. This here is going to be my cursor. So if you want to, you can get a picture and load it in. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick model. So uh, I'm going to just go into solid view so I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to press tab, numpad 7, and I'm just going to bring the sides in like so. Alright, just something like that. Then, very important, what you have to do next is uh, if you have just say like a picture or something, you have to press tab to go into edit mode, select all of it, and then press G to move. And you want that yellow dot there, the origin, you want it to be at the uh, tip. So at the sort of top of the arrow there. So if I can get this right, go into orthographic view. Uh, and then we just want to get it right in the center there. Alright, so as close as you can, then what we're going to do is go ahead and give it a color, maybe, I don't know, orange, no specular, and then S to scale, make it nice and small, and bring it in. So numpad zero, and you can adjust the size and stuff uh, until you like what it looks like. Then the back plane here, the over plane, we're going to select it, and we're going to change it to ghost, and collision bounce as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the game logic uh, and we're going to go to our mouse scene and in here we're going to go ahead and add ourselves a mouse sensor. This is going to be mouse over on a true false. Then what we're going to do, numpad zero, hold down shift and select the uh, mouse cursor. So actually, let's deselect everything, select the mouse cursor. A to deselect, uh, just select the mouse cursor by itself, so we can call it cursor. Then I'm going to select the back plane, hold down shift, select the cursor, and then the cursor here, we're going to add a Python, join it in. Over here, we'll make it a script, uh, I don't know, mouse cursor, dot py. Uh, first line here, import bge. COnt is equal to bge.logic.get current controller uh, and then own is equal to COnt.owner. Then over here what we're going to do is type in own dot, uh, whoops, no space, own dot world position with a capital P and actually let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, own dot world position. Now over here, uh, this over sensor, we need to call something, so let's just call it over, and then in here, let's go ahead and import it. So over is equal to cont.sensors over. And then own.worldPosition is equal to over.hitPosition, uh, and yeah, I think that is about it. So fairly simple, that should be it, let's put that in there, numpad zero. 
Also select the back plane here and make it invisible. Then what we're going to do is go back to the original scene here, select the camera, add an always, add a scene, join the two together, this one overlay and choose main. Uh, not main, mouse. There we go. And yeah, that is about it. So if I go into text review here, and same with the mouse, text review, uh, let's go ahead and actually make it shadeless, the cursor. And we'll go back here. Uh, text review and then press P and there we go we have our mouse cursor now one more thing uh, select the cursor here and change it to no collision so there you go guys that's how to add a custom mouse cursor in the blender game engine hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did let me know with a like comment or share down below if your one didn't work out there'll be a finished up blend down in the description as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video